Hey, Mr. Gibson here. We're going to create our brush library in Autodesk Sketchbook and start a landscape painting. So let's go ahead and open up Autodesk Sketchbook. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just go open the default layout just to get everybody on the same page here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create our own tool tray and we'll begin a, a landscape with three layers or potentially more all right and so before we get started you want to click the brush library and you're going to see you have um all your different subcategories of brushes in here we want to make our own so we can have quick access to the things we want and so to do this i need to select one of these boxes i'll just click on the basic here up top and i'm going to go into click and hold inside of this circle dot circle thing and i'm going to drag this line up to where it says new brush set and i'm going to start a new brush set and i'm going to title this brush set by double clicking on here i'm going to um since i'm in tent mode on my computer i'm going to highlight that and open up my keyboard and i'm going to title this my tools Title this whatever you would like, but for uh, my sake, I'm going to do this. Whoa. Oh, this happens to me. Let me try that again here, real quick. Just delete that back. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. My tools. And I want my tools up top. So I'm going to pull that to the top. Okay. So once I'm, um, I've created this box, now I can start to put my tools in here. So the first tool I want to grab is the ink pen, and it is in the basic category. It is this tool right here, inking pen. And if I click that, it will um, highlight the box. And then what I want to do is copy that pen over into my toolbox. So I just click my toolbox once again over the circles, click and hold. And then right over here is the copy brush. And then I just click or drag that over, let go. And then now I have a ink brush. The next brush I want you to get is the Signature Ink, and that is this one in Texture Essentials. So click Signature Ink, and then I'll come back up here. Make sure it's highlighted. You come up here, and we'll copy that brush into this library. And now you have the Signature Ink copy. All right, moving down, we're going to go to the Artist category. It's down here. Why they don't put them in alphabetical order, I don't know. Um, I'm going to click on this fan brush, which is the Salty Watercolor. Very fun tool. So I'm going to put that in my toolbox. So click and hold over to Copy Brush. And now I have a Salty Watercolor. All right. The next thing I need you to get is called the Smudge Web Brush. And it's down here in the Smudging Tools. You can see if you see a clear brush, that's an indication that it adjusts what's on there and not adding color. And the one we're looking for in particular is the web. So click on that one, then back up to the top, save that one to yours, copy it over. All right, we also want a blending stick. All right, and the blending stick is also in the artist category. So come down here and it's right next to the salty watercolor brush, blending. We want that one. Let's copy that one over. So now I have five tools and I'm looking for the chisel tip marker. And so we're going to go ahead and come down here to traditional or this one right here, chisel tip. All right. This is a good um, tool for starting your mountains and stuff like that. So we're going to add that to our toolbox. We'll copy that one in over. So we should have, let's see, four, five, six. Let's add an eraser just in case. So down here in the basic tools, I have a couple erasers, a hard eraser and a soft eraser. I'm gonna go with hard eraser. Um, this will make things erase completely. And so there we go. And then what I wanna do is take this toolbox and I wanna make this what's in the tray, not what I'm seeing now. I want this to be in the tray. That's easy to do too. I click and hold and go over to the thumbtack and I can pin set to palette. There you go. And now I have quick access to my tools right here. 
So I can close this brush library now, right? And so that is how you create your own little toolbox on, on Autodesk Sketchbook. And so we can begin. So I'm gonna start the next video on a new one just to keep this one short, okay? So this is the video on how to create your own toolbox and how to populate your tool tray with your own toolbox and how to copy and paste those over. All right, so set up your own toolbox and get ready for the project.